Welcome back to Thought Experiment Month with Cardades.org and 90 Second Philosophy. Today we're going to be continuing our series on philosophy of mind with the Turing Test. This is a test proposed by a man by the name of Alvin Turing, and it's trying to answer the question, can computers have knowledge, and of course, do computers have consciousness? What Turing's going to propose is that we test computers on the same way that we test each other. Basically, the only way we can figure out if a person has consciousness is by interacting with them, because we can't actually get inside their heads, we just figure if they have normal human interactions, then they probably have consciousness, because they're interacting like we do, and we can only know if we have consciousness. So, Turing proposes the following test. You have a group of people go into a room where they're on computers chatting with someone. Some of the people are chatting with a real person, while some of the people are chatting with computers. When the computers reach the level of sophistication such that the people that they are chatting with cannot tell if they're chatting with a person or with a computer, then those computers have consciousness, because those computers have passed the only test we have for telling if another person has consciousness. Basically, if a person cannot tell that they're talking to a computer, that computer is effectively conscious. That was the Turing test. Next up is the Chinese room, followed by the brain simulator, followed by the Chinese gym, the Korean room, and the luminous room. Watch a new video every single day this month at carneades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.